Hello everyone, this is Andres and I'm, I'm going to continue playing Isla Sinaloa to show you everything that the game has to offer. Now, last time we played the introduction day and we were taking a nap. So, I'd like to start there just so you can see that after clicking here, we, uh, we will only need to click again and the day will end. Now, that is going to be the last time that you're not playing in real time. And this is what the Juan is going to tell us just as soon as we begin. It is giving me the time that I started playing and the day. So once we do that, um, also Juan is going to use this moment every time that you start the game in a different day to show or say uh, new things that are going to happen or that you should go and visit during the day. So right now, uh, he's asking us to see him at the store so we can get to, to know about the rune moons. Then also telling us to visit Vayu. And lastly, to visit Dolly, who is the dolphin who's going to take us to different islands. So, I'm going to do that. So I'm exiting the, the tent and we'll go straight to Juan. Now we're going to find here uh, Juanita. She's the right now or today. She's going to be in charge of the store, so we can sell items and buy items as well. But that's something that I am not going to do right now because I don't have uh, anything to sell or any stars, which is a currency to purchase some stuff at the store uh, to buy anything. So let's go straight to Juan, who asked us to visit him. Okay, so he's going to tell us about the Rune Moons. Uh, we just got a new app on our phone. And I am going to click on that as soon as I can to show you what it's all about that. Okay, so we have the to-do app. If you remember, this is where he will tell us or it'll show if we have any pending task from someone. So right now it just says redeem all available rewards in the Rune Moons app and return to Juan. So this is a Rune Moon app. I'm going to scroll down, look for the something we can redeem. And right now, this is the one that we are redeeming. It's just going through the introduction day. Now I'm going to look for another one, and that's it. This is the one. Now we're ready to go back to Juan and tell him that we just did the task. <clears throat> okay, now let's see if there's anything else we can do before we continue playing. And... We got another uh, task now is to interact with the rune interactive terminal terminal in the count uh, in the corner. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> now we uh, as we do that we just got 500 uh, moons. So clicking on here it'll give us three different options. The first one is to redeem. Uh, rune moves this is going to be to use them so I am I just have one option right now this is the island or island explorer ticket and this ticket will allow you to pay Dolly for a round trip so you can go visit the surrounding islands now we can do that and complete the purchase so now we have this ticket in in our backpack now the second option is the star bank access, but you will notice that we don't have any any stars yet to pay for anything or deposit or make any payments. So this is something we're going to do later. Now uh, we completed that uh, task. Let's see if Juan just has anything else to say. So he's telling us about a friend that wants to open a zoo. Now to do that we need to bring three unique fish. But right now we don't have any fishing rod. Luckily, uh, Juan is giving us a way to do those. So now we have a crafting app, and it uh, it is telling us that in order to build that, we need to collect three branches. So that's what I'm going to do right now, and then go to Bayou Store. So it's just a matter of repeating what we did the, uh, yesterday or in the previous video during the introduction day to pick up some stuff. So I'm going to get this one and I already noticed another one. So we are ready to go. Let's see how can we craft a fishing rod to continue with that task. Now, before I do that, I'd like to talk to Bayou, see if there's anything else I, I should know. 
So there's a crafting table where we can create the items. We can use them anytime that we want. And also we're getting some instructions to build a stone axe. So let's see what are those. Okay, so it is telling me now that I can build this one because we do have everything that's needed, but we cannot do that for the stone axe. We're still missing two stones. So I am going to get the fishing rod and, all, and then while I'm fishing, or after I get the fish that I'm trying to get to donate them to Juan, I am going to look around the island to get some stones. So, we use our time wisely. Okay, so now I already noticed or found a stone, and I think there in the back is another one. So, let's do that at once. Now, I want to equip this, the fishing rod, and let's go ahead and use it. Now, whenever you click something that is going to introduce you due to new mechanics or, or new tools, you will get an instruction. So, as soon as I click here, it'll, it'll tell us how to fish, but I'd like to say, or explain this in a, in a brief way. So, clicking here, it is going to give us uh, the fishing rod, uh, the, the really part of it and some green arrows are going to show there and as soon as that happens we'll need to click on that. So that will happen for a number of times and after you click throughout all those times you're, you will get the fish. So right now I need to pay attention make sure that I don't miss this um, so let's go ahead and, and wait for it. I might be a little silent here because I don't want to lose this. Just as you do when you're fishing in real life. Okay, so there's another one, third one, fourth, and the last one. So we got a snook. We have our character showing it to the to to us. Then I want to see if I can get another one because remember we need to get three unique fish. So that's just one for the moment. So we need to wait patiently. There's a chance that we get the same one but that's why you want to keep fishing until you have everything or three different ones. And two, three, four, five again. Okay, so now we just got an, an eel and I'd like to move to a different spot because I'm, I'm never that I'm going to get the same one. Okay, so let's see if we can get a new one. Alright, just waiting. Okay, so I'm already a little bit nervous that I'm going to miss this. But let's hope that I don't. So there's two, three, four. Okay, you might have noticed that right now we only need it four clicks to get uh, the fish, so that's something that it's a, a common thing, sometimes it'll take more, sometimes less, so sometimes it'll take more time to for the green arrows to appear for, uh, first, it's just something that is happily, happen, happening randomly. Okay, so let's see, I got an eel, so I need to find another one, a different fish. So again, it's just a matter of waiting. Okay. I think we're almost there. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we got another snoop. I think I want to go to Dolly now and and continue moving forward. Well, actually, we need to get some more branches. Let's give it some time before we continue fishing. Because, after all, it's something we can do. Now, I want to talk to the people that is walking around, see if they have anything else to say. 
So first, I want to talk to one of my uh, neighbors. So she she's telling me that we that Juan gave her some cool apps. She's going to transfer some to us. Now let's see what those apps are. Okay. So after we receive this, we are going to get um, the passport, which is which is showing the name that it had that we sh that we entered for a character, our birthday the name of the island, the active days playing, and the time playing. Also, you're getting some scores. This is um, based on the moons that you are uh, redeeming. So you can see here some other people that has been getting some points for playing the game. You can get into this by fishing or doing some other activities. So that's the passport. Then we have the drone view. In case you like to see the whole layout of the island, um, check if there's something you like to uh, or, or plan what you want to do with your island that's something you can do from that view and as well to ask Byron Bat to rescue you uh, if something happens you get in the middle of something you can always uh, get the service to ask Byron to help you when you do that he's going to uh, take you all the way to your to your house or tent in this case okay so we got those apps I think those are all. Now here's um, Pamela. I'm going to talk to her and see if there's anything we or something else that we get. So we're getting another another tool or recipe, but we need to uh, deliver her three different palm wood. So as you can see now, I have a, a, a three different tasks. I need to catch three unique fish craft the stone axe and get the palm wood. So I already have many things to do. I think I want to move forward to the stone axe. Well actually let's go ahead and see what what is Juanito doing here. Right. So what Juanito is doing is uh, he will tell us some random advice. So right now uh, he's telling us to visit Dolphin to explore surrounding island. That is something that I'm going to do for sure to right now in this video. Um, this is where he is explaining why we should do that and then and how to do it. So we need to buy the ticket, I already did that. Then go to Dolly and present the ticket. And he's telling us uh, also that Dolly can, also, can only do four trips per day. So it's very important to plan your trips. Make sure that whenever you go to this island, uh, you you have enough space in your backpacks. So whenever you go, you don't get. You, I mean, so you so you can get everything that you can from that trip, because there are only four that you can do. Now, it says here another another advice is telling us to upgrade the tent to a house. By doing this, we will we will be getting a storage uh, access to the storage. And, and of course that is going to give us more more space to pick up stuff save it there in the storage and just have more space in the backpack to keep getting, getting resources so to do this we need to go to Bayou I think I want to talk one last time and see if Juanito has any, any, anything else to say so the last advice is that this game it is designed to provide about 45 to 60 minutes of playtime per day I think it's very important to know that because uh, as you play um, you're going to notice that some things will take you some time but it's a nice and relaxing activity wherein, where you are not uh, competing against someone directly so if you have some time, some spare time I think it's a good idea to, to see what you can find here build your house just collect everything that you can collect as you might have noticed um, there are different fish in the that you can that you can get and that is going to be true for a lot of other aspects as well so I already built the the stone axe let's see what else is going to be uh, if there's something else we can get from by Right, so right now he's uh, telling us that we need to get some resources to improve the tent so we can get a house. Uh, so the task should, should be updated, yes? Now we need to bring 30 hardwood and 20 softwood. Now we do have... Ok, 
Okay, so I think we are ready to to move to the to the island with Dog. So here's this, the, the dock area where we can find her. We're going to start a conversation and let her know that we want to explore the island. Now, like I said before, uh, this is the place where you can uh, actually get as many res resources as you can. And um, because you cannot return to this place. So, if you like something from here, let's say that you want to collect very, uh, a lot of uh, cherries, um, and and for some reason you don't have enough enough backspace and you say well I'll just take a trip back to my to the main island island and then return here uh, you might not get the same type of fruits or the same type of flowers um, so again very very important to be ready to get everything you can from this place so I th I think I really want to um, get the fruit first so this is uh, something that that's important we can sell fruits and get more stars or get stars to pay for the loan of the house and also you're going to see in a second I'm going to start using the axe so we can get uh, also the wood that's needed to build or get the upgrade But I, I have this, uh, like, I like to get everything first and then, like, every, every type of fruit and then just using the stone axe and getting the wood all at once. In a way, I think that's, that's faster, but it might not be the case. But it's how I'm used to playing. Okay, so just a couple more of trees. Um, if you know, if you are a keen observer, you might have noticed that um, in the main island and here we're seeing different type of flowers. That is because you can also pick them up, but uh, that's kind of uh, something you you will be able to do later. Right now, we're just focusing on on the things that we can do. Picking up things from the ground, chopping trees down, and fishing. But for sure, if you notice something that you like, just put a pen on that and pay close attention so whenever you're ready to collect those, uh, you don't miss them again. So I think we are almost done. Now, unfortunately, we cannot go to the next area or the small portion of the island there. This layout or this, uh, how this island appears, it is preventing us from reaching. Um, if you remember, Pamela told us that she had an idea of how to build a pole vaulting uh, stick, but we haven't return to her with the palm wood so we don't we don't know how to build that yet so we're going to need to hold on to that island for later or you know reaching those places for later okay so we are almost done here let's let's see how um if we have a lot of space yet so we do now you might have noticed as well that one, one spot in the backpack is not just for one type of item. Uh, the items, some of them, mainly resources, will form a stock or a bundle. And once you, once you reach the limit of that bundle, it'll start another one. So that's uh, when, when, you go, when you're used to, those, uh, to that information, you'll be able to plan better to uh, whenever you want to access or or return to this island so 
I'm sure that by the time I get everything or every wood from these trees, I will have maybe just one or two spot trees. So I want to, I want to make sure that I deliver the the task to Bayou so we can get rid of or so we can get back more space from the backpack before we return to these islands. Now I think that I'm going to continue doing this for a while. So let's uh, I'm going to return to you when I'm ready with this and when we are delivering the task. So um, see you in a bit. Okay, uh, hello again. Now I wanted to show you first uh, how this island looks now after we got everything that we that uh, that we were able to get and also the backpack. Now I, I collected this one by mistake. There's something else here that's in interesting and it's this piece here, um, this item here that says plastic trash. Now something that's important is that here on the island you will also get uh, the chance to collect that type of items. I'm going to let you know why are uh, these are important and also I noticed this little mark here. We don't have any tools to interact with it yet, but it's important to let you know as well that um, that, that these are here on the island and you might stumble across that. So let's just put a pin on it and return to this, maybe in a different day when we have a tool to do that as well. Now, um, here in this part, no, not sure if you noticed, that's another, uh, type of trash we cannot collect it but just to let you know that on this uh, island um, you, you on this surrounding islands you get two different types of trash that you can collect so always make sure to get enough space or have enough space to, to retrieve those All right. so I want to go home and I'm going to deliver the task to Bayou see if there's anything else we can do and also show you what's going to be um, or how to what's the point of collecting these trash items so you you might have noticed that next to the room store there's this uh like recycle bin so i just want to sorry interact with this first and then throw away and that's how we i think a way to you know, give back to the place that we were taking stuff from. Um, and here, let's go ahead and, and deliver this. Okay, so he already got the items that he needed to build the house. Then it's telling us that we need to pay for a loan. However, uh, the house will be ready, even though we haven't paid. So, because, well, you know, it's a loan. So let me get purple since that's sort of a theme that I'm going on with the, with the character. Um, might have noticed that we got some more uh, moons available to redeem. This is for the trees that I cut. So uh, this is going to increase each time. First uh, tier I got here might have been around 10 trees that I cut down. So in total I cut 26. Now to get the next uh, uh, price of moons I will need to cut 100, uh, 100 uh, trees. Now just to give you an idea of the time that it took me to complete that island was around um, 5 minutes, a little bit less than that. So it's not is not as much time as you know as you might think now well, the one thing I forgot to do though was to fish again but that's okay because we can we can continue trying to get the other one here in the main island now I'm just going to try to do it from this part and we are also oh, got a little bit too quick on that so again we just need to wait you're going to see that a fish appears as well as the green arrows but where you need to pay attention is here so you don't miss on clicking this ok 
Okay, so again, just need to be a little bit patient and wait for the arrows. Okay, I think it should be appearing any time now. So we we're lucky enough to get the, the another type of fish. So that's that's three unique fish. Let's find Pamela to deliver the Pam wood uh, and get the the other tool that we needed. Okay, so we got the walking pole. And this is the recipe. Okay. So let's uh, talk to Juan. Okay, so let's do that. It's one, two, and three. And we're going to get another another special item here in our backpack. Before we do that, I think I want to sell every fruit. So we get space again. And also the fish that I won't be needing anymore. I think this should be fine. Alright, so now that we have stars, also I think I want to start paying this uh, the loan. So it says pay from pockets. Honestly, there's nothing else I want to do with the money or with the stars yet, so I'll just use the whole amount. So lastly, we need to. Uh, place this here that like placing that item is going to set the location of, of the suit so I think I want to have I want to be close to that or have that close to the plaza so okay but not too close not too close um, this should be fine now this is a spot and we are ready with this now we don't have any task any pending task we got some more moons. <clears throat> this is uh, picking and selling fruits is a great way to earn extra income. So that's what we did. Now, if we were to collect more fruits and sell those, we will get more moons uh, after that. So right now we are finishing this first day after. Um, going to the surrounding island with Dolly. Now, if you might have noticed, we are not done. We're not 60 minutes in the game yet. We still have three more trips that we can do. We have the moons. So remember that that's 400 um, moons per ticket. And we have enough to pay for other three tickets. So we were, we, we would be able to go to the island and get more fruits, more wood, or um, and more trash in order to recycle those if we want to do that. Um, that's that's a cool thing about this game that you can you can spend more time if you have enough time to do that. You can you can certainly do that, and if not, then you can wait for the next day and get more uh, activities going on. Right now, we need to wait for the zoo, and I'm sure I can guarantee you that the next day you're going to get more activities to do from. And as you progress, you're going to have more things to do throughout the day. So I think that's going to be it. Um, I'll most likely go back to the island for a couple of trips, get more stuff, maybe rank up or uh, the number of fruits that I have here so we can get closer to the next tier of the moon rewards but that's going to be it um, see you later in another video thank you very much for your time and goodbye